I'm Erin and this is Danny and the littlest member of our family river. We are making our way around Australia with our home in tow. Subscribe to follow along and keep up to date with our adventures. Good morning from Onslow and WA. So I'm just going for a run along this boardwalk here this morning. It's about a kilometre long. Um, it's right on the waterfront, so it's a good, good, nice spot to go for a run. Yeah, so Onslow is another like little salt mining town. A lot of these towns along the coast here on WA, um, they're like salt production because of the, the dry climate is really suitable for it. Yeah, so this town was actually one of the furthest towns south that got bombed during World War II. So there's a couple of Japanese bombers that came flying over and um, they circled the area for half an hour and they thought they were attacking the airstrip. They attacked just some random big pan so they actually missed, didn't hit anything. So um, yeah, that was pretty, pretty lucky. <laughs> no one got injured. So I've been up early this morning and saw the sunrise here in Onslow. There's this Anzac um, Memorial and the sun rises straight through the middle and it's really beautiful. So we're leaving Onslow this morning. We've actually got a bit of a big drive today. So we're actually heading to Geraldton, which I know I'll put the map in, is quite far from Onslow. So no, we're not skipping Exmouth and Coral Bay and all those like really cool spots. Um, we're actually meeting people up at Exmouth in about six weeks time. So we're headed down south and then to Geraldton and then we're going to slowly make our way up the coast up to Exmouth. So you will see all of that footage coming soon. But yeah, we're gonna, we have to do an overnight stop somewhere between here and Geraldton. So we're not entirely sure exactly where we're going to stop for the night tonight. There's a sign saying, if you're catching fish in this river, you get a free beer. There's like, there's literally no water in the river. <laughs> yeah, so that makes sense now. Nice, hey. It's nice. Yeah. It's like a hot bath. Yeah. I'm just like 30, 30, 33 degrees. Oh. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> this would be really cool in winter here. Like, look at these massive fire pits they got. I think they actually like cook out here. Yeah, so it's like a restaurant, and I think they actually cook food outside. You know, do like a roast up on above the, the fire there. So that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, you can see our van over there. So we're here at uh, Wurra Mall Station tonight. So we're on the way to Geraldton, we're just going to do a big run all the way down from Onslow all the way to Geraldton. So we thought we'd stop in here for the night. It's kind of cool. It's got these artesian baths and it's like a pretty, pretty cool place. Good morning. 
So I decided to come for me morning walk down the riverbed. As you can see, there's literally no water. <laughs> uh, there's heaps of these uh, riverbeds down in WA with no water in the middle. It's because they don't get much rain except for like, you get the occasional cyclone which will come through. It, um, the shitload of water will come down, it'll fill the river up for about two weeks and then it'll be empty again for the rest of the year. But they look pretty cool. Makes for a different sort of something to look at, I guess. It's just full of sand. You know, you can get four kinds of nice soft sand. Nice and open. So we uh, got to Geraldton yesterday afternoon. Um, it was super, super windy, so we just didn't do a lot. We just kind of set up camp and that and just hung around a bit. And we got up early this morning because in the mornings here, it's, just, it's really calm. But then after lunchtime, it picks up and gets real windy. So yeah, we're going to do all stuff this morning. We're going to go for a walk down the beach, check that out. Look at all this um, like seaweed that's washed up. Big piles of it. It's meant to be low tide, but I'll see the tides on here as big. I'll check how big they are here, but it still looks like it's pretty far in compared to most other places we've been on the coast. Aaron's gone off to do a morning run. We usually have turns of doing a run in the morning. Let's try and keep the fitness up while we're travelling. This is a nicer beach, not as much weed. Pretty good. I think when the sun comes up high, it's going to look really nice because this water turns like a real aqua, like greeny aqua colour. Should look good. Sand's nice and white here. Looks like the water is pretty clear too, so pretty nice. So we're now having a look at the Point Moore Lighthouse, established in 1878. It's got a fence around so you can't go right up to it, but it's a fairly, fairly big lighthouse. So the Point Moore Lighthouse is actually Australia's tallest metal lighthouse. It's 34 metres high. Definitely a lot calmer here in the morning, it's not so windy. I'm just coming for a run down the fish co-op. You can see like some really nice beaches down here in um, Geraldton. This one's yeah, they've got some really nice white sand, nice like clear water. This one's not covered in weed, which is nice. <laughs> Looks good. So we've just come for a walk up to uh, Separation Point Lookout. Like this is how windy it gets in the afternoon, just like blowing a gale. You wouldn't want to be out there on a boat right now. Wouldn't be too fun. So we're just spending the afternoon checking out a few of the um, sites you can see around here in um, Geraldton. So the second spot here we're checking out is a HMAS Sydney 2 Memorial. 
So apparently like 645 people lost their lives when the um, boat sunk. So they've got like everyone's names listed on these big wind breaks, which is kind of cool. It's a good idea because it's always bloody windy in the afternoon, so. Yeah, pretty interesting spot to come check out. So apparently the HMS Sydney 2 actually um, was lost in battle by a German raider in 1941 in World War II. That's how all 645 people lost their lives. It was escorting another ship, I think. Um, so it disappeared and they couldn't find the ship for years until they found it finally in 2008. It was like 2,400 metres underwater. morning in Geraldton is to go and head down to the Esplanade and have a bit of an explore down there. We drove past the other day and it looks really lovely so yeah keen to go check that out. So I'm just making some pancakes for Brecky. River's out here building some more Lego. We took him to the Lego Museum the other day here in Geraldton. It was just like an exhibition that's only on for the next couple of weeks but it was really cool. He really loved it. Look what you made. Wow. That's awesome, buddy. Check out these pancakes. They were good. So, um, these pancakes are made from basically just 100% buckwheat, one banana, and just a bit of bicarb soda, and a bit of baking powder, and that's it. And then we have them with like peanut butter and jam, or like honey sometimes. Yeah, they're really good. Super healthy, really quick and easy to make. seen all these scooters everywhere so I thought we might as well jump on a couple of these this morning and go ride all the way down the um, esplanade. Have they got phone holders on them? Oh they do. That's cool. Yeah they give you like little phone holders to chuck your phone which is cool. So you just need to download an app and you scan the QR code on these and I think you just pay through the app and you can jump on and off you go. Yeah, it's beautiful this morning. It's nice. Um, all that wind's gone, which is nice. Check this out. Really nice white sand, aqua clear water. There's like a little place you can swim out to on there. A little pontoon you can swim out to. Might go for a swim here later. It's yeah, good. swimmers on right now because that is just beautiful it, it's like it's cool like it's refreshing but the water is just so clean and clear it's just stunning like I feel like we haven't seen a beach this good like this kind of water since Whitehaven over at Ailey this is amazing so there was a couple of smoothie bowls here down at two foreshore Looking even more inviting now that sun's coming up more. Eh? I think we might bring the paddleboard down here tomorrow morning. Go a bit of a cruise around. So right in the middle of Geraldton here, like right next to the Esplanade, they have 24 hour parking for like caravans and stuff and RVs. Yeah, so basically anyone can just pull up in their car and caravan stay here for free for 24 hours. And it's a really good location too, right near the Esplanade. Obviously you gotta fully self-contain because there's no amenities, but I mean if you don't have a toilet, you can always just walk down and smart here and go to the public toilets. That's pretty awesome. So we parked up on the, the free RV parking, which is like literally two minutes walk from the beach right here. And um, we've got this uh, Adventure King stand-up paddleboard. We've had the whole time, we haven't even used so 
thought this would be a nice morning to come down and just blow up the paddleboard and go for a um, paddle out here. Everyone's having first go on the uh, paddleboard. It's been a while. It's been a while. Doing this? It's a nice morning for it though. Aaron's going to jump in for a dip. Water's slightly chilly, but should be pretty refreshing. It's good. It's nice. Nice, is it? Yeah. So, disclaimer, no, we're not currently planning on moving to Geraldton. However, if we were to move to WA, Geraldton would definitely be the top of our list. It's so nice. It's just like crystal clear water. It's just refreshing. It's just beautiful. There's no one else around. Love it. <laughs> that was a beautiful morning down there. Hey. Yeah, it was so beautiful. So nice. Yeah, super nice um, paddling out there because the water's so clear. You can see like all the way down. Uh, there's big weed oh, beds out there. So I reckon it'll be pretty good for like squidding, I reckon. All right, so we jump back in the car now. So we're heading up to Gregory today. It's about an hour's north where we are now. Um, so it's quite near the Hut Lagoon. Hut Lagoon has got that, you know, the big pink lake. Looks really cool. Geraldton's actually quite a nice town, really. It's better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't really have super high expectations for um, Geraldton just because I didn't know, didn't know much about it. But yeah, there's a lot of really nice, like little beaches and everything, and are real close and really accessible. And like in the afternoons, it does get pretty windy, but most mornings it's quite still. So as long as you do things in the morning, it's beautiful. We've had just amazing weather, you know, nice, beautiful, clear skies, not even a cloud really. It's been really nice. It has this really nice esplanade down here. Um, it's pretty cool, you get this free camping right beside the esplanade. That's great as well. So yeah, definitely recommend coming into um, Geraldton if you're heading down this way. It's a nice little spot. So that's it for this episode. Um, you got this far, thank you for watching the whole thing. That's great. If you haven't liked or subscribed yet, can you please do that now, that'd be amazing. It really helps out our channel a lot and helps us the motivation to keep making more content. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers, see you in the next one.